Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake 2. I'm Burning Dog Face, and uh, we're here at Huotari Well, or Huotari Well, depending on who you ask. You're in a uh, coffee world. The most caffeinated place on Earth. <laughs> uh, silly. Shout out to Elthwar, who says, I decided to check. A moose's rut season is late September to early October, so yeah, it's pretty close to the time frame of this game. Ooh. Oh, and uh, there it is. I can't actually go in here yet. Can't be opened on this side. Yeah. But up there is the Hall of the Kalevala Knights. And uh, shout out to Yornik, who informs me. In case somebody's been living under a rock for the last two or so centuries, hey, no judgment from me. Kalevala is the Finnish epic poetry work, all mythological and whatnot. A saga, if you will. Hmm. I like that. That observation there. I was like to share this thought. Shout out to Derek Floyd, who says, I would have thought that it would be revealed that Logan really is dead, and Saga is listening to recorded voice messages, like Zemo's reveal in Captain America the Winter Soldier. But that behavior doesn't really line up with someone in denial. So I'm leaning towards Logan being dead in the current story, but Saga is from a previous draft where she wasn't. And I have no idea what to uh, make of that, because, you know, anything could be true at this point. What the hell is that? It's... It's a lever! They've built a crane out of trees! Except the thing hanging from the end is just a long-ass stick that appears to be set up to... A long-ass stick with a hook on it that gets dipped into the bottom of the well. Oh, amazing. I love that. If I stand up here, do I get to pull Anna's body up like it's a fucking crane game? Well, at least the lawn flamingos are happy. Don't worry, third lawn flamingo, you'll find happiness someday. Plenty of fish in the sea. What a strange thing to say to a lawn decoration. And I've gone back the other way. How embarrassing. Maybe there's a fl uh, thing in here. Oh god! Everything that was in this wheelbarrow just physics through the bottom of it onto the ground. It's probably okay. I don't need to carry anything. <laughs> Ooh. By the way, I remembered something I was thinking of way, way, way earlier in the game. It was uh, Resident Evil Revelations, I played. Probably the second one. Where you uh, could reveal hidden items in the environment by pointing your flashlight at them. You just see a little glint. And there wouldn't actually be an object there, but if you hit A on the glints, then it would uh, summon an object. Still no power. Fine. We'll leave the espresso express behind. <laughs> I should probably mention that the, uh, the collectibles that Alan didn't get became objects of power. Wrong way. Like, we already knew with the, the manuscript pages changing reality and all that. But. It's more to it, unfortunately. No fuses in the garbage. The, uh, the thermoses they found, the, at least they found one thermos, I know this. It, uh, it has supernatural properties. I don't know if it works if you pour, say, water into it. But I do know that if you put coffee of any quality into it and close the lid, then when you pour it out later, it won't be that coffee. It will be the delicious coffee from the Odier Diner. Additionally, it doesn't matter how long it's been. 
it will always be nice and hot and ready to serve. Okay, so confirmed it's not every bucket. There was a reveal in Control that, uh... The shenanigans in the first game accidentally meant that every shoebox in the world is impervious to uh, changes in reality. Where you at, you fucker? No! Well, blew his back open. And his chest. Sorry, what? Oh, I hate the way they jerk around and twitch. Like that wasn't like it was re he was reacting to the force of the bullet. That was just yeah, yeah, give me more. Just flicking his head back and forth in ways. Even when I shot him in the shoulder, he's just jerking his head around. It's like yeah, yeah. Like he's fucking tweaking. Dandy dropped painkillers in the form of a cube. I thought they fixed that. <laughs> God damn it, Elmo. How would you do not notice that was creepy? Popcorn doesn't really fit with the theme, but I'll allow it. French presses. French presses, indeed. Ooh, cooler. Don't mind if I do. Hey, I should probably reload this gun. <laughs> you know, since it only had three bullets in it. <laughs> like, that laughter, like, seriously, was Ilmo wasted when he did this? I assume that wasn't Yako. Latte Lagoon. It's just a giant sculpture of a pie here, with forks in it. More of those fish you can ride on. Latte Lagoon. Oh, and another American flag skid. That's kind of weird. Not as weird as the fact that this entire area is heavily flooded and I can't actually walk out there. Bummer. Huh. Weird. Oh, right. I haven't actually done that here. Put that in the other healing spot, I guess. What's this? Propane tank. Throwable gas canister detonates when shot, inflicting heavy damage to anything nearby. It's just in my inventory. I don't have to carry that around with me. Interesting. Hunting crossbow. Silent hunting weapon. Low recoil bolts lodge into targets and deal high damage. Break action shotgun. That's the thing where you split it open in half in order to get the shells out and in, yes? Pretty sure that's what that means. You just directly open the barrel and put the, the shells in. Really convenient if I had to reload this, but no. No, I do not. Oh, actually, and as I see her sling that over her shoulder, I had a comment specifically about the, uh, yes. Shout out to Rachel Starwin. He says, that's why this game takes place during deer season. No one would question a person walking around strapped with a crossbow during deer season. Deer season was such a big deal where I grew up that all schools were closed the day hunting season opened. Wow. And, uh, on a related thought... Well, I had, I thought I had a joke from someone, uh... Fuck it, there's an indirectly related thought. Shout out to Elthwar, who says, Following up on yesterday, I just had a thought. If the moose was still in Coffee World, there is a risk that Saga can encounter a taken, rutting moose, which is just about the most terrifying boss enemy around. Yeah, no kidding. I like the idea of the pitch uh, trailer's idea of various other fictional stories coming to life around the lake. It would be a cool way to send up uh, a lot of different types of horror fiction and play with a very broad toolbox but I suppose it would be harder to keep the tone and mood consistent. Still, having to have part of the gameplay loop be discovering what the original story and genre of the current enemy or scene was in order to find ways to exploit their rules to survive would make for a good challenge. I really like that idea. It's like, 
Okay, okay, I seem to be on a spaceship, so we're in a sci-fi horror movie. Uh, that means everyone is a traitor, don't trust anyone, and I'm probably going to get shot out of an airlock anyway. Seriously, uh, spaceship horror, there's like a f good 50% chance of, uh... Hello? A point of interest just next to the Quoteri Well, how about that? Surely I would have noticed that. Oh, fuck it, it's a straight line. Yes, this direction. Uh, the Espresso Espresso is next to the thing, so it's over here. Uh, where's the exit sign? Ah, oh, yeah, Smoke of the Moose. Where the hell am I? Oh, I have taken a goddamn wrong turn. How embarrassing. Yes, yes, the lovebirds. Oh, fuck! Hi, buddy. Was all accounted for. I keep forgetting that it's left bumper to dodge now and not A. Rest in peace, you poor motherfucker. Give me that cube. Still can be seen. <sighs> Why the fuck did I come here? Right, there is a point of interest here. Not down there, up here. Why does it always put that down in the corner? Directly behind me. Huh? What was that? Is there like a lunchbox or something hidden in this patch of... No. I can't get in here. So you're not letting me jump the fence. It's not just walking into the fucking thing, is it? Because that's like... Well, I can't see all the way down, but it looks to be at least a 20-foot drop, and I don't love that. Hmm. Okay, fuck this. Creepy ass haunted place can kiss my ass. Exit. Yes, good. Well, rest in peace, Mocha. Possibly Mochas. I mean, I get it. I get it. You're a theme park, you don't want, you know, you're, you're an amusement park. You don't want people being sad because you have to announce you killed the moose. What if they really killed the moose by giving it too much coffee and then they just kept doing it? That's fucked up. I don't like that. Lost cat posters. Hello, my name is Tibbles. I went missing on August 19th and was last seen in the vicinity of Odeer Diner on Monday. Please keep an eye out for me. I am a very good boy. My humans miss me very much. Oh. Good luck, Tibbles. I hope they found him. We're just too lazy to take the posters down. That's what I always tell myself when they're old. I swear to God, if I find out the Dark has been eating cats, there is no hole deep enough that it will be able to hide from me. Because that's the funny thing about light. It only needs a crack to get in. Fuck me, the road leads right to the Lighthouse Trailer Park. Would you look at that? I kind of thought I was about to steal this truck. Because, you know, you could drive vehicles in uh, the first game. 
That's just a good point. I can't even drive my car. <laughs> I feel like it's, less, it's a lot less likely that you'd be hunting deer with a sawed-off, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave the uh, crossbow on my back. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's going to be stuck in my head for four million years. Speed 20. Oh, right. Sorry, I was just thinking to myself, well, that's what they would do in, a, in a, like a school zone around here. And then I remembered, around here, that's 20 kilometers an hour, not 20 miles an hour. Alright, fine, I'll put the thing on the case board. What do we got? Uh... Oop! The story. No. Strange. Wait, what? Uh... No, 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 it was the Trail of the Cult. Yeah, this one. Why does it keep showing me... Why, when I unpause, it shows me this one, which I already have on the wall. See, there it is. What's up with that? Lower left. If you wanted to rewind that. Oh! It's a little row of mailboxes. That's cute. There's an orange brick in one of the mailboxes, but I genuinely can't tell if someone... like Is that is like a package someone's received? Or if that's the model fucking up, because it kind of looks like the orange cubes that the enemies are dropping. Maybe that's what's meant to be like, oh, it's like three or four letters stacked on top of each other, but the model didn't load. It could be worse. I saw a clip on Twitter the other day of uh, someone who got that bug in Spider-Man 2. And the model that wasn't loading was Spider-Man. So it's just a cube web swinging around New York. Where the fuck am I? Oh, there I am, down here. Well, this is that would be the road there, so I'll go check the out this house that first. run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga. Well, this is a house, not a, not a trailer, so... Office, in fact. This is, uh, this is where they run the trailer park, I guess. Close myself in here. Oh! Fuck yeah! Quick save. Mmm, that's good coffee. Hmm. Hmm. I can put these in fours. How come I can carry four crossbow bolts in a stack, but only two road flares? What the hell is that? Rocket flare. Single shot flare inflicts heavy, heavy damage in a er large area on impact. I suppose that's as opposed to the flare gun, huh? Fair enough. Like I said, that was just kind of the anti-everything weapon in the first game. Let's take some, uh, let's dangerously take some pills. My veins feel so alive. See, those bullets look right. Huh. You know, I was kind of expecting it from the government agency, you know, the sheriff's department. I am a little bit surprised that this place still has a cube monitor behind the, uh, desk. Bright Falls never left 2003. I'm trying to remember when, uh... What do you call it? When, uh... The, the flat screens became common. Like, I, I think they were available in 2010. I don't know that normal people would have them. Not that it'd just be like a, a gamer thing, you know? Uh, this one. I find it interesting that we're actually looking at two different narratives here. The one in the dark place is, of course, uh, in Initiation, the book he can't remember reading, I mean writing, and the one out here is The Return, the one they hinted at as far back as the ending of uh, Alan Wake 1. It was uh, the credit stinger. 
Oh god damn it. Mayor Setter. Setter is not afraid of the rough questions. They emphasize the word rough, Justin. I swear to God, if we if we're going to show up to the uh, to the election, and there's just going to be a guy in a fur suit standing there. <laughs> hey, man, he's weird as hell, but he dropped my taxes, so what do I care? He could dress up like Barney the Dinosaur, for all I care. What happens if I do just walk out here? I reach the edge of water. That was like a nice bird sound. I like that. Probably too far south for, uh, loons. Washington, maybe. Well, I suppose the tri uh, timer has gone. So before we head into the uh, the lighthouse trailer park and its suggestive name, oh, I see that loops all the way back around to downtown Watery. Hmm. I'll check that out in between videos. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake 2, when we look around and Saga faces her destiny. Till then, wish me luck, and stay in the light. <laughs>